Hi, it's Tom here, and today we are going to be looking at Hoogan flywheels. I've already installed my set in here, and uh, I have to say that I'm not going to do a review on these. There's plenty of reviews of these. What I am going to do is I'm going to do a proper performance test of these. And um, This set has been bedded in. I've had about 60 to 80 shots through it. I'm going to do a 50 dart shoot. Um, as usual, new elite darts. Uh, these are a 12 pack. I've got three 12 packs. I'll open those up so that you can see I'm not cheating. And I've got to load the magazines again, so you might get a brief break while I do that because it's boring to watch. So there you go, brand new Elite Darts as usual. And uh, it'll be a 50 dart shoot over the chrono. And uh, what we're looking for is we're looking for relatively low deviation in shots. And we're also going to see how much of a power boost they get versus workers. This is a set of 3240s in here, which are the most consistently manufactured motors. Uh, it's a 40C2S LiPo, fully charged, and it's at about 8.4 volts peak. Um, and that will easily be able to cope with the motor load. And then um, I've done the Hooligan flywheels. Unlike everyone else, I've built to a set of tolerances. So all of my flywheels are built to the same tolerances. They are um, set down to plus or minus 0.05 grams of each other and 0.05 millimetres of each other in dimensions. Um, anything that falls outside of those tolerances is put in the reject bin and then they don't get fitted, and then they're fitted on the shaft centred to within plus or minus 0.1 millimetres, uh, which by machining standards are pretty slack tolerances, but it's the best you can get with the systems available to us for centering those on the wheels. I've got to say these are the first set of wheels that have ever actually met my tolerances out of the box and exceeded them. Um, I measured four wheels, because I have four, um, and I had plus or minus 0 0.02 of a gram, and plus or minus 0 0.02 of a millimetre between the four sets. So that was the maximum difference was 0 0.02 of a millimetre. Uh, so I've got to take my hats off to the guys at Hooligan Flywheels. Uh, the Hooligan Blaster Company, your machinist, has done a lovely job on these. And if they are anything like as good as the machining work, uh, then they are going to be my new flywheel of choice. Um, I've talked about precision in flywheel manufacture for the last three years. Nobody has come close to meeting my tolerances. I've had to buy eight wheels of the competitors um, to wheedle out two that were within tolerance. So well done to them for that. And uh, we'll put these over the chrono and see what they shoot like. Uh, yeah, that just beat my best, my best so far on uh, previous flywheels easily. There's some over 120 there. Okay, so we're going to review the figures for the. Hooligan ass flywheels, and those are on a strife cage. That's 2S with um, Mabuchi 3240s. That's a high of 127 feet per second, low of 119, average of 123, extreme spread of 8, standard deviation of 2 feet per second, which is a very good result. Okay, so as you can see, those shot very good numbers. This is a stock strife cage. Um, in the future, there'll be more comparative testing with other wheels when I get hold of some other ones. Um, you can also expect some work on the um, overall flywheels, all of them together, and I'll include this data in that. I'm just trying to test them all. So look out for full flywheel tests, every available aftermarket flywheel, including the um, newer ones from containment crew. Um, I won't be testing 3D printed cages in any way um, because I don't think that that's a suitable material to make a cage from for various reasons, mainly machining tolerances because um, there's too much variance between individual prints and therefore um, you will obviously get enough variance within a set um, to produce varying results, especially in terms of crush. So it'll be very hard for me to actually compare a set of um, printed flywheel cages because of the variance in manufacture. So I don't think that's necessarily fair on the manufacturers of those flywheel cages. If I say, oh, this one's really bad because the printing tolerance was different to another one in the batch that produces a much better result. So that's why I won't be testing those. Uh, you'll have to take other people's word for that. But I will test the remaining ones. <laughs> 